Welcome to CML InfoTech. My name is Muhammad Ali. I'm going to discuss with you today about CCML. So we were in the bit of one area, which is called uh, uh, about to talk the products and the vendor. Like if I go for a Cisco, in order to configure the Cisco product, I need to have a knowledge. For that, Cisco introduced the course called the CCMA. Cisco Certified Network Associate. What if I go for Juniper? If I wanted to configure Juniper product, there is a course called JNCIA. Juniper Network Certified Internet Associate. They, every, every individual vendor have their own certification. We're going back to Cisco. Uh, there's a first level of course is called technician course, which is called CCIENT. Then we're gonna for CCMA. Further on, let's say the CCNA, we can consider as a 10th grade. Then the next course is called CCNP which is a professional course, which is, we can consider 12th grade, which is equivalent to plus two. Then we have a higher end course, which is called as a doctorate, CCIE, which is graduate, or PG, post graduate. The way, in order to configure a pro particular product, that we need to understand the product-based knowledge from Cisco, we will use to call it as a CCNA. So this is the first course. Cisco Certified Network Associate, CCNA. The paper number 200-301. Okay, so if you, if you look into this page, you could see that there are plenty of technology available in the market. If you look into the, the specific criteria like architectural design, cloud-based collaboration, collaboration is nothing but IP telephony system, cybersecurity, data, data center, DC, designing, IoT, uh, Internet of Things technology, routing and switching. This is the base of every technological routing and uh, switching, which is also known as enterprise track. Then we have a security service provider wireless. What does it mean this? there are individual technology available in the market. If you want to learn about wireless, how, do, how does the wireless works? You need to have a knowledge. How do I secure the network? You need to know security. How the ISP works, you need to know service provider. So for every technology, they've been started with the entry level course and they can go with the associate. We will be learning directly into, into the CCNA. This certification track, if you look into this, you have a CCNP data center. CCNP data center, uh, then CCIE data center, prior to CCNA data center. So every individual technology have their own CCNA, then CCNP, then CCIE. CCIE is the final certification from the system. But this is the old track. Going back to the latest technology, if you go in, if you look into the latest starting from 2020, the entire Cisco portfolio training has been divided into two areas. One, one we call it as an infrastructure engineers, the other one call it as a software. The software development was not included in the very beginning uh, until uh, 2020. So uh, being from that is being postponed, which includes the software as well. So how does it make sense? So if you, if you look into the, the paper that the software, we call it as a DevNet. Then there is a CCNA and CCNP, then the CCIE, DevNet papers, which is purely based on the software for the programming. Like maybe you heard about Python. Python was purely a software programming code, which was not introduced. Uh, let's say before 2020, but starting from that, the uh, engineering course is also included some portion from the uh, Python as a software programming for the software uh, technologies. So we are now standing in engineering level. 
So the first uh, course is called CCNA. Then we have a CCNP, but you can see in between there's a specialist paper, which means, let's say, okay, we'll, we'll discuss that. So going forward within CCNA, these are the major topic that we are covering during the CCNA entire course. Like fundamentals and access, network access, IP connectivity, services, security, and auto, uh, the programmable. So this is the major content, but we will be deep drive into each technology. And there are plenty of lab, either by paper lab or by system lab that you need to do by yourself. And make sure that whatever the homework that you received has been completed on time or before, because the topic can be late or the topic can be easy and can be finished with at the earliest based on your cooperation towards to the class. So what are the pre-request to complete CCNA? There is no pre-request, just you need to know basic computer hardware platforms, which we generally not include, but I'm gonna include certain area which is majorly required for CCNA. And the CCNA certification, once you certified, this will be valid for next to three years. So what is the, uh, what is the solution for recertify the existing CCNA? I'll let you know that. And our courses, it's nearly by 50 to 60 hours, which is uh, either by include your additional lab or, or exclude your additional lab, which means other than the duration of the course, you may also need to practice more from your home in order to complete the lab, in order to do a more practice. As you know, when you do more, 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 more practice, more workout, you will be more, more powerful in the tool, in the CCNA tool. And finally, you have an exam. So the exams is nothing but you just need to attend the exam on the PSN VUE, which have a PSN VUE direct exam fees. So once you completed the course, you will have one certificate from CML Infotech. And later on, you can appear for the Cisco exams, which you can get CCNA certification from, uh, from Cisco directly. So hope you can see the other page now. I was telling you about certification track. So this, this was the previous certification track that you need to do uh, CCNA. Going back to the previous design. So here, if you look into this, you can see that you need to do CCNA and if you if you looking for a specific knowledge, like for example, data center, IP telephony, routing and switching security, you need to go for individual CCNP for a specific technology that you would like to. But being current scenario situation, the CCNA is the common CCNA for any technology that you're going to adopt, which means once you've finished the CCNA, you can go for any higher paper directly. Like after the CCNA, you can continue with the routing and switching, which is called enterprise, or you can go for security, or you can go for data center, or collaboration, or anything, et cetera. The whichever paper that you would like to, based on your, your knowledge and your interest and the market rate. But uh, keep in mind, any technology that you adopt to learn further you have to have the clear cut idea about routing and switching, which is called enterprise. So uh, avoiding enterprise track, you cannot achieve your goal with any other technology. So give, give more priority and the more concentration on enterprise track for a time being. So once you finish to CCNA, you need to go for CCNA certification, which is from Cisco again that you will be get CCNA certification like this. 
So this is for 2014. And this expire will be 2025. I mean, uh, two or three more years again, two and a half years again. So once you finish the CCNA, uh, you will be get a CCNA certification, which is valid for three years, but you can see here valid for more than 10 years. I'll let you know how it is. Give me a second. So, so after you finish to CCNA, you will be having a certification from, uh, from CML, CML Infotech directly, which is even valid for certain area, but not valid for entire globe. Because if, you, if you're looking for a job and the, any company gonna ask you the certificates, uh, especially in GCC, they are asking about the Cisco director certificate, not from this institute that's where you completed. There is no point to show that's the certificate about the institute. This will be valid for certain area only. But as, uh, as for you to confirm that you completed the course that you will get from uh, entity, that's the time frame and the course name and the certifications. But I recommended you to, once if you are being perfect in the course that you I recommended you to go for CCNA certificates. I can help you have to clear the certificates as well. Okay, after the CCNA, I'm sorry, can you mute from your end if anybody opened? So after the CCNA, This is, was the previous certification, which there was individual certificate for security, but no more CCN, CCNA uh, other than routing and switching. There is no other certificates currently. So let's say you have finished CCNA course, then after CCNA, You have one certificate. After CCNA, you have one certificate. Then if you go for CCNP, you have two paper. One is called core paper. If you're forwarding to routing and switching track, that is called N core, which is enterprise core. The moment you cleared N core, you will get one certificate. Plus, you will be eligible for CCIE lab. And there are elective papers or concentrator papers, elective paper. If you cleared one elective paper, you will get one certificate. So after NCORE, one cert, after elective paper, you will get one more certificate. The moment you finish the two paper, you will get one more certificate. So total three certificate, which is equivalent to CCNP enterprise. Do not be confused. After CCNA one certificate, when you, when you start learning for CCNP, I'm talking about the routing and switching, which is called enterprise track. Any CCNP track, there are two certificate, one core paper, one elective paper. For the routing and switching, the core paper called N core. The moment you clear N core, you will get one certificate plus you are eligible for CCIE lab. Then if you do one more certificate, which is called from the elective, you will get one certificate for the elective and one extra certificate, which is stating that you have finished the enterprise track. As an example, the moment you cleared, let's say this is for the security, which is called uh, uh, security core paper. 
the moment you create a core paper, you will get one Cisco certified specialist. Then you need to do one more certificates. This is this is called enterprise core. Let's say enterprise paper. Okay. So here, if you look into the certificates track, you can see that CCNP security, which means I have done minimum three exams CCNP core. CCNP elective. So, which will be equivalent to CCNP security exams certification. Okay. So, this is all about the certification details. Okay. The first topic, we're gonna talk about networking. So some of the area you maybe already knows about what is basic networking and all. So we will still will go for certain area in order to make we all are on the same page. So network fundamentals. So after three, four classes, we being to clear about what is the network architecture, which you can see in the screen. Like in the network, we're gonna say uh, access layer, distributor layer, certain area that we have. So in a common way, networking means connecting many devices to each other to transfer the data. The data could be anything like voice, data, audio, video, telephone signals, it could be anything to, to share or to transfer from one device to another devices, we generally consider as a networking. Even that can be wired or can be wireless. I can pull the cable connected to a central media for making them a network, or I can use a Wi-Fi technology solution, which is 802.11, in order to transmit the data between each other or it can be mixed together, either being wired or being wireless. Any manner in order to transfer a data between one point to another point, irrespective of what devices are on the other side, we being placed data communication throughout the network called, called uh, networking. So we can explain a little bit more about this, okay? As a, as a general consideration, Okay, uh, you can ask a question in between if you have any concern. Like majority of us are already implementing a network. So as an example, how do we design the network. What is the major agenda by learning the CCNA? How come we use this in the reality? So what is the customer is actually expecting from us in terms of design, in terms of the best solution that we can propose to them? Like for example, a customer is requesting, the design is based on the customer requirements and we can make a design in a different manner which is based on, again, the customer budget three, we can propose the best solution. But again, when you're proposing the solution with a various level, we have to have a clear idea about what is the major reason that we're making a different types of uh, design and we need to explain them, not only even based on the budget, actually budgetary is the concern from the client side, but for us is the major concern to, to sell the best a higher solution to the customer to make more money in terms of. So uh, ma the majority of the customer doesn't have an idea about what is all this in terms of an IT terminologies. So we as a team has to have a capacity to explain them regarding the network architecture. They simply say that 
I need a 100 camera in my organization. That's it. How can we define 100 camera that is based on purely our design or our technology? Let's say in a simplest way, I have We can start from the bottom. I have camera one, camera two, camera three. I need to connect this camera. So this is called edge device. It could be camera or it could be any other edge devices like a computer, telephones, access point for the Wi-Fi solution, or any other ELV or ICT components like uh, access control systems or anything. So this edge devices should be connected to a switch. Today, we are talking about the general idea in order for you to understand in a common methodology. Like if we used to connect to a central device called the switch. We will be trying to place one more switch as a redundancy if possible. Elsewhere, single access switch, ASW1, access switch one. This access switch will be connected to your camera. Then when I'm using a camera where the camera doesn't have individual power, my switch should have a capacity to deliver the power, which is we call as a PoE or PoE plus. We'll explain later what's the difference between PoE and PoE plus. The access switch will be located into one room and there is a rack. That room we generally called IDF. And this IDF must be connected to, to the MDF room. MDF room is nothing but where your major first level equipment is being connected. Here, if you look into this, we can see laptop, printer, or uh, camera, which are connected to a common switch. This switch is the bottom line switches, we call it as an access switch. This access switch will be connected to core switch. This core switch is physically located in an area called MDF room or DC, data center. And the core switch must be two. Core switch one and core switch two, and they're connected to each other. And from every IDF or from every access switch, we should connect a cable towards to the core. Let's say I don't have a connection between these two switches, individual switch, then, I have to have again connection to core switch two, which means if my camera reaching to the core switch one, two to my server, if the core switch one goes down, still my camera have connectivity to, to the core switch two via alternate link. So we had a core switch and we had an access switch. When you have just a core switch and access switch, we will be referred this design as two tire technology. Two tire technology. Like my camera connected to access switch and the access switch is connected to, to the core switch. Now, the camera, 
should require a server to feed the camera data or we call it as a nvr or there will be a rack mounted specific server it's all based on the requirements again what kind of vms video management system software that's required or what is the pvl what is the customer requirements or how big the network it is all it is based on the uh, the requirement if i have less than uh, 50 camera or 20 camera or 30 camera i can simply connect all the camera into one switch in majority the 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 server or we call it as nvr will be also connected to the same switch or the nvr will be connected to the core switch okay i'll be in connecting continue the session after the small break thank you for joining with us from cml infotech have a great day